This video is for my language learners out there, or if you just like a song in a foreign language that you want to learn to sing along to, even if you don't necessarily want to learn the language or learn what you're saying, this video is for you. Hey, my name is Dars. I grew up in the middle of entrepreneurs and personal development. I've seen how your personal and business life can really dramatically improve if you are willing to do hard and uncomfortable things. So in this video, after I give you all the tips, I'm going to share something that's making me very uncomfortable. It's very hard for me, but I'm going to do it. I've always been a support person really helping the people around me achieve their goals and their dreams. So this channel is for you if you are into learning and growing and improving and you're ready to expand your horizons mentally and physically. I'm here to be that accountability for you, help you and encourage help you and encourage you and be your guide to climb that mountain that is your dream. Starting with just one baby step. My goal with this video is to leave you with at least one action step that you can take, even if it's a little tiny baby step, to get that much closer to your goals. So if your goal is to learn a language, I know for a fact that this is gonna help you because it helped me tremendously as I have learned, oh my gosh, Spanish, I am fluent in now. French, I have dabbled in a little bit. Finnish, I'm kind of learning. Yoruba, I'm also kind of learning. So, or at least I've learned songs that have those languages and I understand certain phrases because of what I'm about to tell you. I hear a song I like, sometimes it's a foreign language. I wanna be able to sing along to that song so that I can more thoroughly enjoy it and become one with the music. So, this is how I do it. I'll listen to the song. I'll listen to the song again. And again, and again, and again. I will listen to the song multiple, so many times. I will listen to it over and over and over again, many times in a row. I'll listen to the song really, really listening to it. I'll listen to it just casually as I'm, you know, doing dishes or eating lunch or driving or working. I'll have it going in the background. Then I look up the lyrics. I love love and highly recommend lyricstranslate.com i'll link it down below i've been using it for years and years and it's only getting better over time completely free you just look up a song and it gives you the lyrics and it gives you translations that people have created of those lyrics so most times there are translations to english so you can read the lyrics in the native language of the song and you can also read the English translation of the lyrics. It has this cool little thing where if you mouse, if it's on your computer, you can mouse over a certain line and it tells you which line corresponds in the other language to that line. Super cool. But I'll listen to the song just with nothing. I'll go back and look up the lyrics, just like kind of read through. I'll listen to the song while reading the lyrics so that I can match up what I'm hearing to what I'm seeing so that I can actually figure out what are these words. Where is the separation between the words? Because <laughs> when you listen to a foreign song or foreign language for the first time, you don't know if the whole sentence they said is all one word or if it's, you know, 50 words. You don't know if each syllable is a separate word. You, you just have no concept of like what is going on here. So I'll listen to the song while watching the native language translation or native language lyrics. So I'll listen to the song while I read the native lyrics. I'll listen to the song again while reading the English lyrics. I'll listen to the song and kind of try to go back and forth and match between the two. I will read the native lyrics separately even though I don't really know, you know, based on the song I can figure out how things are pronounced or based on whatever I know about the language I can kind of figure that out. And then I'll also just read the English translation by itself, just kind of let it sink into my brain, like what actually is being said in this song. I found that it's a lot easier to memorize a song when you know what they're actually saying. Because if you're just memorizing random words that don't make any sort of sense to you in your brain, it's so easy to forget what you just tried to memorize. But once you start sinking into your brain, okay, Hey Rakas means hey darling, you know, it's um, a lot easier to remember those words. Hey Rakas. So cool thing on YouTube, if you look up songs on YouTube, which is what I do because I don't, I don't really use any other music platforms, but 
I use YouTube to look up music. You can do the, in the settings, you can change the time. In the settings, you can change the playback speed. So you can, <laughs> this is something I've done, especially with French music, because French is super fast, or at least some of the, some of the artists that I listen to have sing very fast. So if you slow down the playback speed of that video, you can listen to it slowed down. Even though it sounds wacky, you can kind of pick out the words and you can start to repeat after the person when they're saying something like, Elle ton nom de Bella. So this song, this French song, he speaks so fast. So I was like, I, I can't, there's no way I can follow this phrase because he says it so darn fast. But when I slow down the video, slow down the song, I can start to repeat the words with the singer a lot slower. El responde tu nom de Bella. And I'll just get to that in a second. But yeah, you can slow down the speed in YouTube. But I will keep listening to the song. I'll pause it a million times. I will look up the lyrics version of the song on YouTube so that while the song plays, it will play the lyrics with the song. And that way you can actually like play one phrase and then pause it and repeat after what it said, just that one phrase. So something about foreign language, right? If you grow up speaking just one language, your mouth gets used to moving in that way. Everything you do when you say a word, when you have to pronounce something, it's a specific way. And each language has different things that you have to learn to do. Like in Spanish, you have to learn to roll the R, which is something in English that we don't have to do. So trying to speak Spanish from an English speaker is very hard to learn to roll the R, but you can do it. I promise you can do it. When it comes to French, you have to do that like nasally sound. Um, yeah, every language has different things that are unique to their language or at least different from other languages. So the more you repeat things, the more you say things in another language, the more your mouth gets used to moving that way. So it's funny, it's like a, a slight change from one language to the other inside your mouth. And it takes a little bit to get used to that change. So when you are speaking the words of another language, a huge thing that help you, that can help you get used to being able to speak that language is just literally to practice speaking it. And like I said, with the fast lyrics or the way that people speak fast, you can speak that word slow or phrase. So if there's a phrase that's really fast that you're like, there's no way I can ever speak that. Yes, you can. You actually can. Slow down the song, read the lyrics, see what it actually says, say it aloud very slowly. And that's what I did with this French song. It just like, ugh, that took me forever to get because he says it so darn fast. But I can say it slow. And you can too. So say it slow, repeat it slow. And as you say it more and more, your mouth gets used to moving that way you can say it a little faster and a little faster and a little faster. So do it, practice. Pause that video a million times to repeat the same part of the song over and over and over and over and over until your mouth is used to saying it and you can actually say it to the speed of the song. So, oh gosh, okay. So, a couple things to think about. Pay attention to the way that the words are said or not said, like where they skip syllables, where they blend words together, where they maybe skip the S at the end of a word like in Spanish. So again, it's something that you can do with the slowing down of the song. Really pay attention to how words are being said or not said. Something for me when I was learning Spanish, I was like trying to speak fast, but I was trying to say the entire word, pronounce the words perfectly and also speak fast, which you can't do because as you speak faster, you start to skip words, letters, syllables, you blend things together. So just pay attention to how, how they're doing that in the song. Reading the lyrics, like I said, it helps you to actually figure out what's being said. Reading it separately from listening, but also reading it while you listen, it's really good. Seeing the words written out as lyrics also helps your brain remember the words when you're apart from the lyrics. Um, also a note about that, if you always listen to the song watching the lyrics, you're not going to be able to 
just jump over and be able to sing the song without looking at the lyrics. So it's important to switch between all of these. Switch, sometimes you're listening and watching the English lyrics. Sometimes you're watching the native lyrics. Sometimes you're going through both. Sometimes you're singing along. Sometimes you're only listening. Sometimes you're not really listening. Sometimes you're listening with every fiber of your being. Switch it up. It's, it takes time. It takes practice. Switch it up. And I say to listen to it also when you're not really listening because that actually does help your brain pick up the song as well. It's passive listening, but your brain is still picking up what's going on and storing it for later. And one more thing, have fun with it. Have fun with it. You'll also find, and this is the same as like going to the gym. If you go to the gym every single day, you like so hardcore and you never take a break, your muscles aren't gonna do as well as if you do have break days, rest days, if you switch between muscle groups. Same thing with this, memorizing and songs and language, music. You don't have to listen to it every second of every day. In fact, you should take breaks. You should take, you know, a day break, a full 24 hours or a full week and then come back to it. It's not all or nothing. You just have fun with it, do it when you can. Take five minutes here, listen to it there, mix it up and just enjoy the process. Let me know which song you'd really like to learn. Let me know if you want any recommendations of some different languages of songs that I like to listen to. And um, now for the hard part. Okay, you know what? You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking. I should actually do a separate video. Okay, let me just give you a taste and then there's gonna be another video. I haven't played this in like a week or something. So that's my excuse. I don't know how this guitar is gonna sound in this microphone. I've never tried it before. Okay. Guys, this is so hard. Oh my gosh. Okay. Plus my fingernails are long. I haven't played in a long time. You got this. Come here, wait in the water. Come here, wait in the water. Bring body, make I rock and yeah, yeah. I know you've seen you me. Get the money, pass it your papa. Waiting you want, way I know fit do for you. Why you want the booga Should you be kissed on your knee? You better drop your body, ama. Gosh, you guys. I'm not a music performer. I'm not even that great of a guitar player, so. Anyway. See you in the next video, bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, I hope you enjoyed the performance.